Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay in this series of flights to study meteorology for DGCS CPL and ATPL examination. Today we will fly through part 2 of airframe icing. If you have not seen part 1, I suggest you watch that video first before watching this video. In part 1 we covered the concept of super cool water droplets, aviation hazards due to airframe icing, atmospheric conditions leading to airframe icing and icing reporting procedure in part 2 we are going to cover types of airframe icing icing hazard associated with different types of clouds and the pilot's action required when experiencing in flight icing so fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off there are a total of 6 types of airframe icing and they are clear ice rime ice mixed ice freezing rain hoar frost and packed snow they all are icing but distinctly different from each other and we'll make all efforts to understand them and differentiate them with clarity severity wise most dangerous is freezing rain followed by clear ice then mixed ice rime ice hoar frost and the last being packed snow first four are encountered in flight hoar frost can occur both on ground and in the air and the packed snow occurs on ground only but irrespective of degree of danger we'll start with clear ice first clear ice is also called glaze ice as the name suggest this type of ice is clear or semi transparent the reason for being clear is that there is no air trapped in between two layers of ice clear icing happens when a large super cool water drop strikes the aeroplane and by now you know that the large water drops are found in cumulus type of clouds and at temperature between 0 and minus 20 degree before proceeding further on the subject you need to know what is latent heat of icing to make ice melt to water you need to heat up the ice and it requires 80 calorie of heat energy to melt 1 gram of ice now the reciprocal will happen when water freezes to ice on surface of the wing so every 1 gram of water when converted to ice will give out 80 calorie of heat this is what is the latent heat of fusion so when large super cool water droplets strike the leading edge of the wing it will start to freeze but at the same time it will also release 80 calorie of heat for each gram of water freezing to ice so this heat melts a portion of the ice back to water and water being liquid under the influence of air flow coming from front flows back over top and bottom of the wing and freezes again and this process continues due to this flow back there are no air bubbles between two layers of ice and ice looks clear and transparent so this is what is clear or glaze ice and if you want to visualize that how does it look it looks similar to ice which you make in your freezer in ice tray which is semi transparent Now let's look at the properties of clear ice. Clear or glaze ice is transparent form of ice formed by large super cool water droplets. The ice appears transparent because there is no air trapped in between two layers. Non-trapping of air is due to flow back of water over top and bottom surfaces of the wing. The lamination of ice into layers increases its strength and it is much harder to remove this kind of icing. and this type of icing is dangerous as compared to rime ice due to flow back ice destroys the aerofoil shape weight increases drastically and when it breaks off the pieces of ice can be large and it can cause airplane skin damage clear ice forms in nimbostratus cumulus and cumulonimbus type of clouds with vertical build up at temperature between 0 to minus 20 degree centigrade moving on to rime ice rime icing occurs when small size super cool water droplets are present in the cloud so core difference between clear ice and rime ice is that clear ice is due to large super cool water drops 
and rime ice is due to small super cool water drops when aeroplane passes through clouds with small super cool water drops the whole droplet freezes instantly on impact on leading edge of the wing and sticks to the airframe there is no flow back so icing is limited to leading edges of the wing and other surfaces air gets trapped between frozen droplets which makes the ice white opaque granular flake type and non transparent this type of ice is weak and very brittle some loss of aerofoil shape can happen and rime ice can occur in any cloud where there are small size super cool water droplets and they are stratus as well as medium clouds like nimbostratus alto stratus alto cumulus strato cumulus and stratus now let's visualize how does it look again go to your fridge and this time look at the frost which deposits around the freezer in old generation non anti frost type of fridge can you correlate this with the granular white and non transparent and brittle type of ice so this is how the rime ice looks like and rime icing is less dangerous as compared to clear icing mixed ice it is the easiest to understand when both clear and rime icing occurs together it is called mixed ice so it will happen when both large and small super cool water drops are present at the same time in clouds and this is most common in nimbostratus cloud and in the middle level of cumuliform clouds next is freezing rain freezing rain or rain ice is the most dangerous form of icing even more dangerous than clear ice so when there is rain in atmosphere and falling water drops become super cooled by falling through an inversion layer into air below 0 degree centigrade in inversion layer means temperature was warmer at higher level but gets colder as rain falls through the atmosphere super cooled water droplets in rain are largest rain size droplets hence icing is also most severe the large size super cooled rain drops when strikes the airframe it freezes to form clear ice with significant flow back rain ice builds up very quickly and a pilot's action should be to turn on to reciprocal heading immediately if the pilot perceives the rain ice very late then the course of action would be to climb into the warmer layer above from where the rain is falling rain ice or freezing rain occurs mostly from rains falling from nimbostratus type of cloud hoar frost hoar frost can be thought of as dew in the form of ice or white crystal deposit it can occur on aeroplane parked on the ground overnight in flight hoar frost occurs when two conditions are met airframe temperature is below 0 degree and warm moist air comes in contact it happens in clear air and not in clouds in flight it happens in two cases one is when aircraft rapidly descends to a warm moist air from high altitude where airframe had cooled down to below sub 0 degree centigrade and the second situation is in a climb from below 0 degree to warmer air through inversion layer sub 0 degree airframe temperature makes the warm moist air saturated excess water vapor gets condensed to dew but since airframe temperature is below 0 degree dew becomes ice which is called hoar frost the unique thing about hoar frost in flight is that it occurs in clear air outside the cloud and can occur at ambient temperature which is well above 0 degree centigrade but airframe temperature should be below 0 degree centigrade this kind of icing is not dangerous and as in when airframe temperature goes above 0 degree hoar frost will stop last is packed snow one interesting fact about icing is that icing is caused due to presence of super cooled water in the atmosphere and not the presence of ice ice itself if there are ice particles in atmosphere will it result in icing the answer is no ice will not stick to the aeroplane fuselage it will just hit and fall away and there will be no icing 
So remember, icing hazard in flight is due to super cool water drops freezing to ice on impact, and not due to ice itself. Ice itself will not stick to airframe. So what is packed snow? Packed snow is a type of airframe icing which happens on ground. Here, snowflakes are falling from the sky, and if these snowflakes are watery, which is also called sleet, sleet is rain and ice both are falling together. Then it sticks to the airframe or fuselage, and the watery part also freezes due to sub-zero temperature of the airframe. This is called packed snow. This is the only type of icing which is not due to super cool water drops, but from the ice itself. on ground but did you notice that ice with some water water is still there now let's see what kind of cloud supports what kind of icing first some general facts related to cloud and icing cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds have the highest concentration of super cool water droplets and makes the icing to be severe further cumulonimbus in tropical latitudes in summers along equator in itcz can pose more severe icing hazards since cloud based temperature are higher and higher the temperature larger the size of super cool water droplets also there is always a greater concentration of droplets near the base of the cloud where it is warmest hence icing is more severe at the base of the cloud as compared to top we can classify cloud type and severity of icing as shown on the screen cumulus and cumulonimbus severe icing nimbus stratus moderate to severe strato cumulus light to moderate stratus light and cirrus type of clouds least chances of icing hazard now covering the pilot's action in case in flight icing is encountered anti ice equipment are used primarily hot air tapped from the engine are blown over the leading edges of the wing but while using anti ice system to minimize the effect of icing priority should be to get out of icing zone as soon as possible and this can be done by descending to warmer levels where temperature is above 0 degree centigrade if terrain clearance permits if not then climb to higher height where the icing will be less severe where ambient temperature is between minus 20 and minus 40 degree and at ambient temperature below minus 40 degree icing is not likely if an aeroplane is forced to land with ice on its wing and airframe then the landing speed is revised which is higher than normal landing speed this caters for extra weight of aeroplane due to icing and increased stalling speed so hope part 2 video has concluded your understanding on the subject of airframe icing Now a question for all of you if you are in icing condition and you increase the speed of your aeroplane will icing increase or decrease and why so so put your answer in the comment section below with this we have arrived at our destination subscribe the channel for more such informative videos on aviation do not forget to comment below about how, do, how did you like the video or if you want me to cover a specific topic so hope to see you on board again for the next flight until then happy landings